Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Teresa. This is Lost My Thread. This video is all about getting to the bottom of the differences between the Cashmere Concord tea and the Cashmere Graft tea. I have had this video in mind since I first made the Grafton top by Cashmere. The Grafton pattern came out in October and I was really impressed with it, but prior to that I had made and loved the Cashmere Concord tea so many times. I genuinely cannot even remember. I will have it up on the screen and photos of various Concord teas that I've made. In addition to making just the straight up Concord tea, I've also hacked that so many ways. I've made dresses, I've made turtlenecks, I've made tank tops. When I first found that pattern, I felt like I had found my go-to t-shirt. I didn't need to look any further. This is what I was going to make for all of my t-shirts or my fitted tees, semi-fitted tees. And then the Grafton came out and I was a little bit confused about really what the differences were. Now these patterns are not exactly the same, but I was just interested in just the fit of the bodice, so the, the top pattern. How are these meant to be different? How do they compare? And that's what I want to get to the bottom of today. I'm going to start by talking through what the differences are between these two patterns when you buy them because they are not the same. You get different variations, you have different options with the two, but that's not the main focus of today. So the main focus of today is really comparing how the two tops, the fitted tops, compare to each other. So I'm going to look through the different pattern pieces, show you next to each other how they actually vary at different areas of the body, and then I'll be showing you how these different tops look on me. I'm not necessarily looking for a winner or a favorite, I'm more just curious to see and understand how these two differ. So starting with the Concord tee, it basically describes that it's meant to be fitting, like you've not had a t-shirt fit before, but it goes through the options. So you've got three hem lengths, you've got a cropped, a mid length, and a long curved length. You've got three necklines, a high neck or a crew neck, a V neck or a scoop neck. You have three sleeve lengths, short, medium, or long sleeve, and then two sleeve finishes. You can have cuffed or hemmed and optional sleeve tabs. So if I show you, this is the general like fitted t-shirt version, and um, the cropped it looks like, and then this is the more of the mid length, and then this is the longer curve length. So there's a little curve on the hip. I think it's not super easy to see from this image. I'm just wondering if they have a better image for that. What well, this does show you, yeah, down here you can see that is the curve, that's the longer version. And then this is the optional sleeve tab, which is a nice option. I feel like that is meant to go with the three quarter length sleeve or the elbow length sleeve. But you can see this is the scoop neck. If I look up and show you, this is the V neck. And then this is the crew neck or the higher neck. So I feel like you get a pretty good idea of the general proportions of that one. And then this is the Grafton, which comes with a whole lot more options. So if you look, they're just basically describing that you've got like a mix and match where you can make dresses, tops, and skirts all together. If you go to the pattern features, we've got either a relaxed bodice with drop shoulders, which is actually what I'm wearing today. So this is not what I'm comparing in my two, but just to show you what it looks like on the body, it's got a drop sleeve here. It's a pretty relaxed fit across the bust and generally down the body. I really like this top, so I'm definitely a fan of the relaxed fit option. There's also a fitted bodice with waist arts, but the waist arts are for if you're making the bodice for a dress, not for the t-shirt. And then each bodice can be made as a dress or a top. You've got a V neckline, crew neckline, scoop neckline, but this one also has a turtleneck and a square neck. So definitely some more options there. And then for the sleeve, there's either the relaxed bodice with the grown on sleeve, which I've got on, or there's a fitted bodice with just the standard fitted sleeves. And then you've got a short, a mid and long length sleeve, but also a bishop sleeve and sleeveless, which then has an armhole facing or lining. And then additionally, you've got a variety of skirt options as well. So, Obviously you can tell that there's quite a lot of choice here and you can mix and match with what you want. And if I show you, these are the different options that you get with all of them basically. So this is the scoop neck with a sleeveless. This is the turtleneck. This looks like a relaxed fit, so that's not as tight across the bodice. This is the square neck, which is I think honestly just so, so stunning. And Cashmere does come in a large size range, so you can actually look at photos on different body types. So if you look at the larger size range, there we go. That's the crew neck, the higher neck option. It's just nice to be able to show you the differences. But as I said, there's clearly a lot more choice and things you can do with the Grafton, but there are some things that you can do with the Concord that you can't do with the Grafton. So just bear that in mind. But what I'm interested in is if you look at the fitted bodice top and the Concord tee, really, how are these not the same? 
One thing that's really handy is if you go to the Cashmart website and click on sizing, they have a size calculator. So you put in your measurements and your bra size and it tells you what size you should be sewing with. I generally tend to go with that and I did re-measure myself before I made these tops because I wanted to be as accurate as possible if I'm going to be comparing the two. So I'm just going to update with my current sizes and see what they tell me. And so they're recommending that I make a size 10 GH cup for the bust, grading to 12 at the waist and a 14 at the hip. So that is what I went with. I wanted to just see how these two compared just to my own body. So I actually put together a little chart here to compare them more directly. So my high bust is 35 inches. They recommended a size 10. They don't give you finished garment measurement for the high bust. My full bust is 40 inches and they recommended a GH cup. And if I go with that, then I'm gonna have 37 inches in the full bust in the Concord, 37 and a quarter inches on the Grafton. So there's just a quarter inch extra room. Both of them have negative ease, but the Grafton will be not quite as tight on my full bust. The waist, mine is 32 inches. They're recommending a size 12 for that. The finished garment measurements for the Concord are 34 and three quarter inches, where the Grafton is 36 inches. So there's definitely more space in the Grafton in the waist, a bit more positive ease, but both of them are larger than my own waist, so none of them are gonna be super tight at the waist. My hips are 43 inches. They recommend a size 14. The Concord T then for finished garment measurements are 45 and a half. So I'm gonna get two and a half inches of positive ease. The Grafton is 45 and five eighths essentially the same there's not going to be a significant difference and when you look at the back length the Concorde is meant to be 23 and a quarter inches whereas the Grafton is 22 and three quarters so a little bit of a difference in the length there now for these two patterns I decided to go for the scoop neck for both of them just for an interesting comparison and I went for the mid length on the Con Concorde tee which is the one that I tend to go for and that is in theory meant to be approximately the same kind of length that you're going to get on the Grafton. So if I look at the two pattern pieces side by side just laid out on the left I've got the Grafton on the right I've got the Concorde you can see that there is definitely a different shape to the pieces in general so the Grafton on the left has almost like a smaller area where it goes out for the bus. So it's kind of a more dramatic curve out and in, whereas it's a little bit more gradual on the Concorde. The neckline is definitely lower on the Grafton, which is what I suspected when I made my versions. That was one of the things that I noticed seemed to be different. But also if you look at just the shape of the neckline and the shape of the armhole, it looks like there's a steeper angle on the Concorde T whereas the Grafton's a little bit more shallow. And also the Grafton seems to go in a little bit more at the neckline before it goes into that curve. So it's like almost like it curves out to the scoop rather than just curving down into it. You can also see that the Grafton is a bit longer at the front than the Concorde is. Looking at the back, I don't think it's as obvious just laying them next to each other, the difference between these two. We've got the Grafton again on the left, Concorde on the right. I feel like the main difference I can see is that the Concorde does curve in more at the waist than the Grafton does. And then also I can see that the Concorde is longer at the back, but it'd be interesting to lay these on top of each other and compare directly. When you lay these pieces on top of each other, I feel like you can understand a little bit more what the differences are between them. So I've got the Grafton on top of the Concorde T here, and you can see that the Grafton, there's a little bit of a deeper scoop into the armhole. Also, the Grafton extends a bit further into the neckline before it then scoops around and down, whereas the Concorde is more of just a gradual curve up into the shoulder seam, which is, I think, a little bit more typical. So you are going to have just generally a different shape around this portion of the bodice. And then when you look at the bust itself, we now put the Concord on top of the Grafton because the Grafton actually has definitely more space in the bust. But as you can see, it really just kind of sticks out in more of a big curve, whereas the Concord is definitely a bit of a more shallow and gradual curve, both there and then under the bust as well. I feel like there's just more of a dramatic shape to the Grafton. Now here I have the Grafton laying on top of the Concorde just to show you that the Grafton is the same length at the front as the Concorde, but then it curves up into the side seam so that it's shorter at the side seam and at the back than the Concorde is. And I do know in general when you do have a fuller bust, you need additional length just in the bust area. So I think this is meant to accommodate it. There is a shallow curve to the Concorde that goes slightly down, but it's certainly a lot more subtle. Now here I wanted to show you the obvious difference between the depth of the scoop neck between these two patterns. So I've got the Grafton on top and as you can see it's a good inch and a half 
lower up the scoop than on the Concorde, which is an interesting difference. Now I will say, if you're wondering what this line is here, because I worried that people were gonna think that I cut up the wrong scoop, the wrong scoop, and that's actually the crew neck. This is definitely the scoop neck for the Concorde because the line below is for the v-neck, so I haven't cut the wrong line. It is definitely quite a dramatic difference between the depth of that scoop. Looking at the hip, they are pretty similar, I would say. I've got the Concorde on top of the Grafton. There's clearly a little bit more space in the Grafton than the Concorde, but I would say that difference is pretty negligible. For the waist here, I've got the Concorde on top of the Grafton, just demonstrating that there is a very slight difference. Not anything dramatic, but there's a little bit more space in the waist for the Grafton. And then looking at the shape of the armhole at the back, again, the Grafton, you can see the armhole scoops in a little bit compared to the Concorde. And there's also a little bit less space in the high bust on the Grafton. So the Concorde has a little bit more room up, up in that area. And then here we've got the Concorde on top of the Grafton, just to show there's a little bit more space in the hip at the back for the Concorde. And you can see that the Concorde length at the back is definitely longer as well. When you look at the sleeves, the Concorde T, the sleeve, the short sleeve, is a bit shorter than the Grafton. I've got this one on top just to demonstrate, but the Concorde T also has a cuff that goes onto the short sleeve, which means it will then end up a little bit longer. I think the shape of the sleeve itself, so the top of the sleeve, the sleeve head that's gonna go into the shoulder seam, it's interesting to see the differences. I'm not an expert here, guys, so I can only guess what difference this is gonna make. But if you look here, I've got the Concorde T on top, and I can see that in general, the Grafton has a little bit more space, particularly it's in the back. So in the back area of this curve, it's a more of a gradual slope, whereas the Concorde is a bit rounder here. And similarly, there's, there's less space in the sleeve at the front, but there's not anything majorly different. It's just a slightly different sleeve shape be interesting to see how that compares on my own body. To me, the only really fair way to compare the two tops is to make them up in the same type of fabric. So I have two cotton jersey fabrics that I got from Sew Me Sunshine. I had a green color here and a orange color here. Now, for my own sanity and knowing which is which, I went for green for the Grafton, and I'm gonna call it cinnamon for the Concorde, just so I can remember which is which. I made both of these tops up, used very much the same technique, so I did a two rows of twin needling going along the neckline and the armholes. This one has a cuff, so it also has the twin needle going along the cuff there on the sleeves, and I'm gonna show you how these two compare on my body. So this is my cinnamon colored Concorde tee. So I do really like this neckline. I feel like this scoop neck is a really nice depth for me. I feel like in general, the shape is pretty good across the bust. I get a little bit of bunching here. I don't think it's anything major, but it's just interesting to notice that I've got that there. I feel like it generally fits pretty well though across the bust. The shoulders for sure need to come out. They're definitely too narrow. Now, I forgot that I had changed that on my other pattern, my TNT one that I cut out before because I made a different size this time, but I generally, I have a, a wider shoulder than their pattern is drafted for. So I think that is not helping in what's happening as far as the shaping across the bust there. As far as the back, I feel like the upper back is pretty good but I definitely have some pooling in the mid back. So I know that I really, I need to do a sway back adjustment. If I rotate to show you the side, again, I feel like it is pulling back just a little bit here. It's not as straight as it could be, but I feel like in general, the shape looks pretty good across the bust and the waist. You can see that there is definitely a, quite a lot of positive ease at the waist and the hip, which is a shape that I really like. I like where it's hitting for me as well. Looking at it from the side, I feel like it's sitting generally pretty straight. So there's not a lot to complain about. I feel like mainly just this little bit of excess in that area, but I feel like it fits really well generally otherwise across the bust. Definitely a great one to have in my wardrobe. I know I'll be wearing this one a ton. I'm a fan, it works for me. And here is my green Grafton top. So in general, I don't think that it's bad at all. I think they're both really good, but this one I will say, you can see it's significantly more scooped, the neckline. And personally, I prefer the slightly higher neckline of the Concorde. I feel like this is a slightly odd, it's like a U shape, 
rather than a rounded shape and I don't feel like it works as well with my personal proportions I feel like it's slightly odd now this one as well it's too narrow in the shoulder I've got the same problem across the two as far as the sleeve shape I think probably the Concord is a little bit better for me but neither of them are perfect as they are I'd need to really move that shoulder seam out just to be able to get an accurate assessment as far as the fit across the bust from the front it looks good but again I've got a little bit of pooling in here I think some of this is all to do with this armhole honestly but I also feel like it's dragging a bit more under the bust now I remember that this top had more of like a big bump out for the bust essentially and then there wasn't as shallow of a curve there and I feel like I prefer the, sh the curve of the Concorde for the fit under the bust now looking at the side and the front again we definitely have a little bit more ease here and it's comfortable I like it I like both honestly I like that it's fitted the bust and a bit looser but I don't really mind which of the two I might slightly prefer the fit of the Concorde there and then looking at the back again I feel like it fits generally well across the back I do still have this pooling because I clearly need to do a sway back adjustment I think the length is generally good if I'm looking at this one from the side you can see that the front is definitely longer than the back and I feel like it's a little bit odd for that I mean it's fine it's not gonna bother me but I think I prefer the shape of the Concord there at the waist or at the hem rather and then looking under the arm again it's just pulling a little bit at the back but I feel like in general it's sitting pretty straight so I do have two great fitting t-shirts honestly I'm really happy with both of them I will totally be wearing them loads they're going to be massive wardrobe staples for me the biggest reason I wanted to compare these two patterns really is because I did have people asking me I've already made the Concorde and I love it is it worth getting the graft in? And I think really it's got to come down to do you like the designs, the extra stuff that you get in the other pattern? And if you've made the graft in and you are not completely happy with the fit of it, you might want to consider the Concorde. Particularly, I will say, if your bust is maybe a little bit more protruding, a little bit more of a, a dramatic in and out, the graft is probably going to work better for you. If you have more of a gradual in and out over the bust, then the Concorde is probably going to be a little bit better for you. Depending on the shape of your shoulders, how rounded your shoulders are, again, you might want to look at the graft or Concorde for those reasons. Otherwise, though, the fit and shape are pretty similar. The neckline, for sure, I do prefer on the Concorde. It was interesting when I tried these on and I got my husband to take some photos of me. He very much, no questions asked, said he really preferred the Concorde on me. So, you know, as far as that goes, I think myself, I prefer it. My husband prefers it. That's probably going to be my go-to t-shirt if I'm making just a basic t-shirt. But it's not to say I'm not going to be making the Grafton because it has so many options and I really love that pattern as well. I really hope this video was helpful for you, especially if you are considering buying one or both of these patterns. It's going to come down a little bit to your individual body shape, but I feel like at least if you can understand the differences between these two, you have a little bit of a better starting point about which pattern you would prefer to make. I really did enjoy looking at these two side by side. I will be making more of both of these, honestly, because I really like them, and I like the variations that you get with each of them individually. Please do let me know if you have any other thoughts or comments on these two patterns. Please do give me a like as well if you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see upcoming videos, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!